going in there? Are you right in room? What? What the? Hellfire Club? Where the hell are you? Oh. That's not good, is it? Hello everyone, my name is Counter Games and welcome back to some more weird news. Today it's all about uh, psychopaths, crazy people and all that stuff. And also, you can find out if you are secretly a psychopath without you even knowing by doing a test on the internet. <laughs> Not even joking. But before we begin, I really hope you enjoy. You can like, support the channel, subscribe if you're new here. And comment your thoughts and let me know what, if you did it and what, what your score was. Because it'd be funny to compare. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this weird news, shall we? There's a test you can take to see if you are a psychopath. Wouldn't you know if you were a psychopath? Well, actually, no, because in their mind, in their, in their um, train of thought, it's, they think they're doing something right. They know that they don't think it's wrong. So actually, would you know? And he used Ted Bundy, of course. <laughs> Has to be Ted Bundy, done it, for fuck's sake. If you've ever been called or called someone a psychopath, it's possible that you didn't actually realise the true meaning of the word that you are using. Hmm, that's very true. One definition of psychopathic, uh, psychopathia from a paper written in 2014 describes the disorder as marked by defliction emotion responses, lack of empathy and a poor behavioural control commonly resulting in persistence, antisocial um, dividend, um, dividance, and criminal behaviour. Basically, you have no, you just don't feel anything. You don't feel remorse or anything like that. That's what a psychopath is. So, and I do hear a lot of people do call people like that as an insult. Like, oh, my ex-girlfriend was a psychopath or something like that, you know. But they had emotions, so they actually weren't a psychopath. They were just a bitch. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. There are a number number of things believed to be involved in the makeup of a psychopaths, including genetic influence, but also develop developmental fa uh, factors as well. Mostly, it's mental factors. It is mostly to do with like uh, trauma, uh, being raised badly, stuff like that. It's stuff like that that really triggers it. Mostly, Cause you send so much shit, you just become numb, ain't it? You know. People seem to be predisposed, predisposed uh, uh, genetically to the disorder, but their upbringings and development also plays a key role. Yeah, see. So. Anyway, in in the 1970s, forensic physiologist, a uh, bleh, physiologist, physiologist, I can't say that word properly, called Robert D. Hare, devised a checklist considering of questions aimed at diagnosing psychopathy, psychopaths. Okay, and the test is ready, available online, <laughs> for free, yeah, this is really strange, I really want to do it, I'm actually, I'm going to do it after I've read this article, of course. Whilst his work was spe um, specifically centred on his work with prisoners in Canada, it has since been applied outside of those circumstances. Obviously, it's well worth pointing out that just possessing these qualities do does not instinctively mark you as a psychopath. It's much more complex than that. But it's certainly an interesting checklist to read through. <laughs> the test we are at pains to point out is definitely not in any way as useful as an actual psychological assessment. Furthermore, whilst you can run this test yourself, it's definitely supposed to be done by a professional if you're, if you're to take it seriously. Disclaimers aside, here's how it works. The checklist contains 20 attributes that could continue, uh, contribute to psychopath psychopathia, yeah, psychopathia, which uh, must be assessed in three categories. Does not apply according to zero points somewhat applies which count for one and fully applies which yield a grade of three. So basically if it doesn't apply to it, it's zero. If it somewhat applies, it's counted as one. If it fully applies, it's then counted as a three. All of those scores tally to the total 
out of 40. Anyone scoring over 30 or 25 in the UK is likely to be psychopath. Likely to be a psychopath. Why is it 30 everywhere else but 25 here? Is it just more known for younger kids, younger people in like the UK to go more psycho? I thought it would have been more like in America. You know, doing this test at like 16 maybe. <laughs> You never know, wean them out fast. <laughs> Amongst the criteria are things like grip and uh, superficial charm, uh, grand um, grandiose self-worth, pathological lying, lack of remorse, or guilt, uh, or guilt parasitic lifestyle, uh, promiscuous sexual behaviour and criminal activity. However, there are criteria on the list that might be surprising. Things such as lack of realistic long-term goals, impulsive and irresponsible, irrep and irresponsibility, and also considered, and also considered. Yeah, there he is, Ted Bundy, Salt Lake Country. Yeah. The test has been um, criticised in some circles, which many believe it to be too simplistic or reductive. Critics suggest that the test doesn't account for a, a valuable and ever-changing nature of human behavior as well as suggesting that many of the um, criteria can also be applied to other disorders and conditions a lot of conditions and disorders actually do have like same trade trademarks as like the others like with ADHD uh, that has autism but that also has like mood swings um, moments of lack of empathy it's stuff like that that we have so yeah i could be classic because because of, of my disorder but i have medication and all that to help me through still if you're interested in running the tests for yourself or on someone you know you can all right all right um let's try out this test and see if i'm actually a psychopath and not just crazy in a different way <laughs> let's do this glibness or superficial charm i no i'm always myself basically i don't lie about my appearance i uh, you, this is who you get basically <laughs> so definitely absent previously diagnosed as psychopath or similar uh well i have head hd and all that so i have been diagnosed but not with that so possible Egocentric, uh, egocentric uh, or grand loose sense of self-worth um, I don't think much of myself at all I really don't proneness to boredom low frustration tolerance I get bored very easily that's because my ADHD so yeah pathology lying and deceitful nope I'm quite truthful I am conning lack of security and in, uh, sincerity yeah so that um definitely absent lack of remorse or guilt i feel guilty about farting in my house when when there's someone else here i literally hold a fart until i leave <laughs> so i think that answers this question lack of uh, effect and emotional depth um i don't it's not that i lack affection or anything like that it's just i'm chill so it's so i don't know possibly maybe nah yeah callous lack of empathy i'm very i'm very imp empath i'm very i'm a very big empath i i feel other people's emotions i know if i've done something wrong so lack so that's definitely absent parasitic lifestyle basically that is definitely absent of course short-tempered poor behavioral control uh i am short-tempered i can be so possible promiscuous sexual relation um relations I haven't been with a girl in about four years. Well, no, no, tell life three years. Maybe four, actually. I don't know now. Could be four by now. Yeah. Single. Early behavioural problems. Yes. Lack of realistic long-term plans. Eh. Doesn't everyone not... Doesn't everyone really not, not know what they want to do in the future? Pulsive. Eh. No, not really. Irresponsible behaviour as... Uh, behaviour as parent. Irresponsible behaviour as parent. Wait, does that mean me as a parent? Well, I'm not a parent, so no. Frequent material relationships? Nope. Juvial delinquent? I've never been juvie. Poor pro probation to, oh, pr parole and all that, so basically when you get arrested. Nope. Failure to accept responsibility for own actions? No, if it's if I've done something, I'll say it was. Look at my videos. Many types of offences? 
None. Drug or alcohol abuse, not direct cause of antisocial behaviour. Uh, no. There we go. Score time. Your score was 8 out of a possible 44. While there is no spec uh, specific cutoff, higher scores indicate a greater likelihood of psychopath. There you go. I'm 8 out of 44. I really was, really was kind of like thinking to myself, I might end up being, am I going to be like really high? But no. I'm just mad in a different way. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow for some straight. Don't forget to leave your score in the comments below. Ciao.